Welcome back to How to Cake It. This week I have two cakes to cake. How am I gonna do that? <laughs> that was amazing. I did not expect that. I wanted to come in with a little pizzazz. I wanted well to come in with a bit of flair. Well done, good entrance. For those of you who don't know, this is Elise. Her channel is My Cupcake Addiction. We are going to cake two lunch boxes for you guys to take back to school. And over on Elise's channel, My Cupcake Addiction, we made some sweet treats and snacks that would go into a cake lunchbox. Please check it out. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe. And also, if you haven't subscribed to How to Cake It, just, just hit that button. We know that a lot of you are heading back to school. Wee, wee. Yes. I guess from the mom's yeah. side, it's like, what? I'm excited. At least. Very excited. Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave you hanging. It's back to school. They're going back to school. Yes. But if you are actually going back to school, we're going to give you something to smile about. For each one of our lunchbox cakes, I started with an 11 by 15 slab of vanilla cake that I turned into a, is it funfetti or funetti? Funfetti. I turned it into a funfetti cake by throwing in some sprinkles into my batter before baking. I took those cakes, I leveled them, of course, and removed the caramelization from the bottom with a ruler and a serrated knife. That's your first test. You should know that. This is the How to Cake at School of Cake Decorating. I cut the caramelization away from the sides, cut the cake in half, and stacked both halves, one on top of the other. And then I just used a round cutter and traced around it to get these nice rounded edges. Use a small serrated knife to trim away the cake. The first thing we have to do is shower these cakes in simple syrup. So Elise, I want to introduce you to my close personal friend. I've heard about Sir Squeeze a lot. I've heard that he is very loyal to you and I'm wondering how he's gonna go in my hand. Yeah, I like to use two hands and real squeeze, really squeeze him. Oh, oh. See, Sir Squeeze a lot. Sorry, I'm yeah. squeezing a squeeze little. Yeah, squeeze him a lot. Okay. Good. There you go, that's right. great. You like me better than you like her. I can't take you home. I didn't say that. <laughs> I was thinking, since the cake is has these little explosions of color, we should color our buttercream to fill the cake. Why would we put plain white frosting when you we don't have color? color? When we you don't have color. color. Okay. I have chosen pink. I have chosen yellow. Bright, fun, and perfect for summer. I love your yellow buttercream. You know yellow's my favorite color, right? Is it really? It's the color of butter. Elise, do you know what we're gonna do now? Let's see if we're... <sighs> Do you know what I think? It's coming to me. Do you know it's what I'm thinking? It's coming to me. Crumb coat and chill. Well, first we have to fill the cake, but you're right. So, we're just gonna fill our cakes. <laughs> I put too much in there. I evidently like a little more crusting in between my cakes. <laughs> I like to use an offset spatula to fill my cakes, because that way you don't get your fingers in the buttercream. Place the second layer on top, and then crumb coat. Done. So, I like to use my straight spatula when I ice around the sides. Mind if I use my offset? You can use, just be a rebel. Thank you very much. <laughs> I march to the beat of my own drum. Crumb coat and chill. Uh, 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 uh. This is my first time. Do I have to make the noise? Yes. Can we do the walk down the stairs? Oh, <laughs> I'm not good at that. <laughs> Let me escort you to my fridge, Elise. Well, thank you. After you. And now we wait. That's the best girl until then we've ever had, Elise. Yes! Nailed it! <laughs> it's time to ice our cakes nice and smooth, and then we'll chill them again. Done. Both of our lunchbox cakes are chilled to perfection, and now we're gonna cover them in fun. And I'm using this lovely like minty green. And I'm using this lovely, really dark purple, which I actually think would go really nicely with your minty oh, green. Oh, we we're gonna sit at the same lunch table. I'm gonna cover the surround sides of my cake first. I don't know if I'm gonna cover the surround sides or I'm gonna cover one half. And by pulling it out and kind of stretching that very bottom section, means that I can get a nice flush fit up against the sides of my cake. I get a little bit of cracking around the top layer, but I'm gonna cover that up anyway, so I'm not too worried. I'm gonna just roll up my very long piece of bonnet onto a rolling pin. Come over here, little lunchbox. Just drop the fondant along the side and unroll it slowly but quickly because it starts to, <laughs> if that makes sense, it starts to fall off your rolling pin. It's so heavy. And then cut a nice straight line through both pieces of the overlapped fondant. So the fondant on top and underneath. 
the top falls away, you can pull the bottom away and then tuck that piece in and get a nice seam. I'm going to chill my cake so that my buttercream is firm up again and I can trim this on nice. Egg? 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 There we go. My fridge, eh? In the fridge, eh? What are you going to do, Elise? I'm going to cover the other half of my cake and I'm yet to decide on a colour. <gasps> what would you like? Um, today's buffet, I think I'd like... I'm going to try Should we like green? spin? We should do like Wheel of Fortune. Like, <gasps> what does Elise... Oh, 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 no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm going to use this green to cover the other half of my cake. So I want to make sure I've got heaps of colour on this and I'm thinking maybe I'll do two quarters. So a half and then two quarters. I like that. And then... Let me spin the wheel thing. Wheel of Fondant! Lisa's <laughs> chosen red fondant. Good Shall choice. I roll this for you? Please do, thank you. I'm really torn because my natural instinct is to take a ruler and mark the same measurement and then trim, but this is a fabric lunchbox. You don't need a ruler for this one. Anything goes. At least I always need a ruler. I use a ruler to get dressed. Don't ask me how. I can't decide whether to do the top of my lunchbox in white or pink. Pink looks a bit like a watermelon. Don't talk to me about watermelons. Ooh, you are looking good fondant. I'm gonna trim some of my excess fondant away now. I'm gonna put this cake in the fridge to chill. Then I'm gonna flip it, and then I'll trim off this excess white fondant. I think it's time for us to roll out some fondant colors and then cut all of our decorations for our lunchbox. The best part, definitely. I am going to do something, I think a little bit cake related. I was planning to do like a cupcake thing. You know, I found this great logo online. Have you ever seen this before? Grab it. That was just like that. You like that? That was excellent. On the fly. Okay. OTF. I'm going to make a piece of cake, and then I'm going to make some little letters using these guys, which are tappets. Very, very handy if you want good lettering. And I'm also going to make an ice cream, and I'm also going to make some sprinkles. I'm making out a cake and lunchbox. So I wanted a three-dimensional piece of cake, which is actually a kind of a tough shape to work out. And then I'm going to put some little icing decorations. I've got some pink frosting. I'm going to roll that out really thin, and then I'm going to use my cake slice as a bit of a guide and then cut like a wavy line so that it looks like this frosting just kind of drizzling down the top of the cake. And then I want to roll like kind of two snakes that are a little bit wonky out of my fondant. I'm going to roll them out just a little bit with my rollers. They look like the frosting that's squelching out between the layers. i stick those on as well. I'm going to make a little bit of frosting that's like a swirl of frosting that goes on top of it. So I'm going to move on to doing the cone and some of the topping ice cream pieces for my ice cream. I want my cone to be like really light brown, so I've got a little bit of dark brown. I'm just going to mix it in through some white with I think like a pinch of yellow so that it gets that waffle cone kind of a look. But I don't have anything to make it look like a waffle cone, so I'm going to use just the side of my ruler and I'm just going to make like that little crisscross pattern that you'd find on a cone. You're using a ruler! I've actually used a ruler today more than I think I've ever used a ruler. I have that effect on people. All the colors of fondant that I need to recreate Elise's logo are rolled out nice and thin. I'm gonna cut out your logo from this piece of paper and I'm gonna end up using it as a template to cut out my fondant. Now I'm gonna cut out the inner colored part, so the white part, pink part, and red part of your logo. Because rather than trying to make a thin outline, which is doable, but tedious, but simple. I'm going to lay these bits on top of the black and the outline will already be there. Nice. Much easier. Much easier. How did I go with color? That's How did cake get color? Oh, that's Yay. beautiful! And then I'm going to use the tappets to create little HTCI lettering that's super neat that I can stick onto my lunchbox. I'm gonna make pink polka dots out of the pink for the side on the mint green. Oh, I like polka dots. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do a few red stripes, but not just plain old stripes. I'm gonna use this frill cutter, do like a frilly stripe. Because it kind of reminds me of like icing, like piping. Nice. I'm gonna roll just a bunch of sprinkles, like a bunch of kind of oversized sprinkles. 
could use real sprinkles, but they won't be big enough, out of all different colours by just making little tiny kind of sausages. Oh, I've been there on this. Oh, I and know you And rolling sprinkles. I'm going to my cake. And then after, you'll get back. I'd love to get a slow-mo of your face at that moment. Don't get any ideas, Joss. <laughs> the first thing I need to do is trim off this excess white fondant with my sharp knife. Now I need to ice a thin layer of my pink buttercream on top of my cake so that I can roll out some pink fondant and cover the back of my lunchbox. Yo, is this... Walter? There's a... Watermelon. Nothing to see here. Nothing? No. Nothing? That's not Walter. He does not That's look happy. It's just a generic Canadian watermelon, at least. It looked like... That's not Walter. It looked like Walter. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a phone call so people know I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Now that my cake has been, I'm gonna trim away the excess pink water on the top. So I'm just gonna make maybe a couple of little pieces of candy so I can fill in any space if I want to. So I roll out two sausages of fondant, long sausages, and then I'm gonna twist them together and then I'm gonna roll them up into like a circle to resemble a boiled sweet. If you both had to ask what a boiled sweet is, to resemble a piece of candy. <laughs> Our cakes are chilled. It's finally time to decorate our lunch boxes. The best part. I'm assembling the My Cupcake Addiction logo to place right on the front of my lunch box. I'm also adding some frilly stripes and some polka dots around the sides. So I roll out my yellow fondant and I use that to cover all of the seams from where I've attached my different colours of fondant. I take my cake slice and lay it down and because I know that I want my swirl to look three dimensional but not actually be three dimensional, I'm going to cut that and my cherry in half and then stick them down on top of the cake. I put on my HTCI initials and then decorate my other pockets with sprinkles and my little ice cream. Uh, there's one little problem with our lunch boxes, Louise. How are the kids supposed to open it? I guess they need some kind of zipper. Yeah. We need so some I'm zippers. presuming we have a zipper mold? Here's my zipper mold. We have no zipper mold? Nope. All right, making a zipper. Mm -hmm. Rolling the fondant tube. I'm going to take my tube and I'm just going to press it flat with my fingertips, just a little. And then I'm going to roll it out. So the reason I press it is so that no, if you just start rolling the tube, just moving around on the table. So I place my mother of all rulers down the center of my long tube, and then I use a sculpting tool just to mark a straight line through the middle of my tube. Don't worry if it's not right in the middle, you just... Here you go. I had I feel her, it's I like the Olympic the flame. Tube. Thank you. <laughs> I shall treat it well. Then I take my little stripe cutter. Mm -hmm. Now this is not tedious at all, Elise. Okay. And what I do is I just press all along that line. I press in. <laughs> Elise is fascinated by what I'm teaching her. <laughs> These are like legitimate yarns. <laughs> there are so many other things we could be doing with our life right now, yo. Like, but okay, I, I'll tell you what. When we're done, we'll go online and we'll buy a zipper mold. <laughs> Our zippers are looking good so far. So we're gonna use the mother of all rulers again, and we're just gonna trim on either side of that center line. All right, that's as done as my zipper is going to get. Mm -hmm. you think oh, it's... there's still four more steps. So... <laughs> Yolanda, don't be mean. Okay, so now we can get our cakes and add our zippers. I need to get the zipper onto my lunchbox, flip it over. I'm going to brush a little bit of water onto my cake where I want the zipper to stick. Is this the moment where it may or may not break? Well, this is, yeah. You always can break it. That's what's so scary. Do I want to If rise? it does break, it's all over. Okay. It's all over. Everyone unsubscribes, everyone unfollows. <laughs> the dream is done. So no pressure. No pressure. That's what you're saying.
I feel like without further ado, it's time for Elise and I to make our zipper things. Most important part of any zipper. Exactly. I hate when the thingy, thingy breaks. I hate when the thingy gets jammed and takes a piece of clothing with ah. it. Like the bottom of a good shirt. Ugh. I softened some of my mint green fondant with vegetable shortening until it's really nice and soft. And I'm gonna run it through this clay extruder. I feel like adding a bit of like a cording border around the edge of my zipper. I feel like you just decided the zipper couldn't be done. No, it's not done. It's not done. We're gonna change the channel name to How to Zipper It. It will never be called My Zipper Addiction. <laughs> I will never get addicted to this. Okay. Looks amazing. We can finally add our handles. I'm gonna do my handle in yellow to match all the other yellow that I've got going on. I roll a really thick, like quite a thick piece of fondant. I'm gonna attach it, but I know it's not gonna stand up because I'm not putting any wire or anything in it. I'm making my handle out of black fondant. I rolled it into a tube. Then I added a texture with a textured rolling pin. Then I used a ruler to just cut a straight band all the way through. <sighs> you know what I think I need? No. got cake and Elise and I definitely have some cake. Thanks to all of you who requested this as an apron. I think it looks fantastic. It's available now at howtokickit.com. We're gonna pretend we are at school. It's the first day of school. Uh, Let's dig into our lunch boxes. Lunch time. I feel like I should have taken a bigger piece of cake. I'm a little disappointed <laughs> I went so small. It's a rough day. It's the first day of school. I need more cake. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right. I hope I didn't torture you too much with the zipper. I will never look at a zipper the same way again, but I had a lot of fun. I also uh, uncovered your dark secret in the fridge. We're not, we're done talking about Walter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and please head over to Elisa's channel, My Cupcake Addiction, and subscribe. Whatever we make next time. We absolutely won't, we won't make zippers, there'll be no watermelons. You're right. Should I give Walter some cake? Has he had anything to eat today? No. Walter, I made you some cake. Come on, Walter, don't be like that.